Do you use your lower body enough in the downswing to maximize your club head speed? If not, make sure you stay tuned for this video. As mentioned, today's video is all gonna be about using your lower body more in the downswing. I'm talking about generating more speed, more efficiency, more energy transfer from your trail side to your lead side in the downswing. And we're gonna be focusing on the driver because I guess that is the main club when we think about generating power and speed that we're talking about. But again, this would be relevant with any golf club. So I'm going to be demonstrating with the drive, but it's also relevant with your irons, your hybrids, etc. I'm going to share with you a couple of really simple drills to make sure you're shifting enough pressure from your trail foot. So for me as a right-handed golfer, that is my right side, my trail side here to my lead side in the downswing. Now, the drills I'm going to be discussing are actually going to go probably a little bit beyond where we even need to go. Um, what I like to see, if I just quickly jump into that a second, is at the top of the backswing, I'd like players to be about 80% loaded in terms of their pressure through their trail foot. What I want to see is a gradual movement towards the lead side. Now, it's not as gradual as I would probably make you think you'll be going to 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%. The drills I'm gonna get you to do are really gonna benefit you if you are somewhere, someone where you feel like you're hitting it too much on your back foot. You're not really getting through the ball, not really maximizing speed and efficiency. So these actually might go from 80% here to 80% there and actually get you there a little quicker than you really need to. But quite often when we're doing drills and exercises, we need to feel like we go above and beyond. We need to feel like we over-exaggerate the movement. And then we can actually, when we put it into a normal golf swing, not doing one of these exercises, we're starting to get that. Now, we're gonna have the aid here of my body track system. So it's a force platform. It's gonna measure uh, where I'm applying pressure to the ground. And very quickly, and I have discussed this before, but weight transfer to, uh, to pressure shift is something a little different. When you tell someone to transfer their weight, they tend to shift their whole body. And you may see me doing a little bit of that in one of these exercises to really over exaggerate the feeling but pressure is really how much force we're applying to the ground through our feet and that is a real key for generating some speed and some power so i'm going to jump straight into uh, the exercise or exercises let me just set up where i need to Again, these exercises are designed to really get me over feeling the movement. So I'm trying to really make sure I shift my pressure from my trail foot to my lead side in the downswing. So an exercise I'm going to get you to do, if this is something you suffer with, is set up to the golf ball. We're going to then take our, sorry, our lead foot, that's my one closest to the target, towards my trail foot and start with the club over the top of the golf ball. We're going to be swinging back and just before we complete the backswing, we're going to be stepping forwards with our lead foot. So it's just a step drill. It's a simple step drill exercise. Well, I say simple. If you've never done this before, it might take a little bit of getting used to. But as you swing back, the pressure is loading into that trail foot. Before you even start the downswing, you're replanting that foot and starting to feel that the pressure is being applied to that foot to help you get that pressure onto that lead foot at impact, through impact, to maximize your speed. So it's a really good range exercise, practice drill exercise. So set up as normal, move that lead foot towards the trail foot, start with the club over the ball, nice smooth back swing movement. And just before you complete the back swing in that transition movement, you're stepping forwards with that lead foot to really help you apply pressure to that side. So this is fantastic for anyone who's feeling like they hit it a little bit on their back foot. They don't really use their legs enough, not generating enough speed. It's a great drill. Now, how could we take that to the golf course without doing a drill that extreme? You'll have seen a number of players, and I have again, filmed on, on this before, talking about perhaps senior golfers, but it could be relevant for anyone. As we make a backswing, what we could just do is lift our lead heel. So that is lifting my lead heel, my left heel, slightly off the floor on the backswing, 
to allow me to stamp it back down as I start the downswing. So again, I'm applying force and pressure into my lead side at the start of the downswing. So simply lifting that lead heel, stamping it back down to try and feel that pressure move into that foot is a fantastic drill and something you may be able to just take to the course on your everyday shot. Let me give it a go. So I'm simply going to be lifting that lead heel. And stamping it back down at the start of the downswing. By stamping that down, I know I'm applying force and pressure into my lead leg. So it's a really great exercise. If you're someone where you're hanging back, you're not using your lower body enough. That as a drill, that as an exercise is going to be fantastic for you and really help you use your lower body more efficiently in the downswing. If you did enjoy the content video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for all the other content every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.